Did you know that Hershey's chocolate contains a hidden element you were unaware of? Whether or not you're a fan of Hershey's bar or Hershey's kisses, Hershey's simply always delivers. All other major conglomerates or companies like Apple or Amazon have skeletons in their closet. Likewise, something as innocent as a Hershey's chocolate bar has a dark story behind it. If customers knew what goes into making Hershey's chocolate, they wouldn't buy it. All right. So stick to the end of this video to find out what Hershey's is not telling you. Hello, welcome to the Food Mystic channel. In this video, we bring you stories and facts that open your eyes to the world of Hershey's. Milton Hershey, a confectionery producer, started the Hershey Chocolate Company in 1894. He had already had two failures as a candy business owner in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, when he had his eureka moment while preparing sweet caramels with fresh milk. As a side endeavor to make chocolate coatings for his caramels, Hershey's chocolate business eventually expanded into the production of baking chocolate and cocoa, with the surplus being sold to other confectioners. The chocolate division at Hershey's was able to become autonomous when the company's surplus goods were sold. Even when the chocolate became an instant hit, Milton Hershey couldn't get enough of the sweet stuff, especially milk chocolate. Milk chocolate was once considered a luxury item reserved for the affluent. Hershey wanted to find a cheaper technique to make milk chocolate that wouldn't sacrifice quality. So they started experimenting with its quality. That's why Hershey purchased a milk processing business in Derry Township back in 1896. Pennsylvania, where he worked tirelessly until 1899, when he perfected a milk chocolate recipe that could be mass-produced affordably and without sacrificing quality. Hershey's Kisses, small chocolate dollop-shaped candies wrapped in foil, became an instant hit once the business opened a facility and started releasing new chocolate delicacies. When Mr. Hershey established the Milton Hershey School for Underprivileged Kids in 1909, Hershey announced itself as an industry leader in corporate social responsibility. It was a school for abandoned boys that catered specifically to their educational needs. However, in recent years, the Hershey Company has tarnished its reputation as a result of poor supply chain operations regarding its cocoa imports. We all know that most of the world's cocoa comes from Africa. It's common knowledge, but you do not know what goes into the production of this cocoa. It's no surprise that the $13 billion chocolate industry in West Africa along the Ivory Coast, the world's biggest producer of cocoa beans, is a major source of corruption and abuse. Some people may be under the impression that growing cocoa is lucrative. Most farmers can't afford to survive off the profits from their labor and end up living in poverty. The cocoa cartel puts relentless pressure on farmers to produce more cocoa beans for less money. So they turn to the cheapest labor available. Thousands of enslaved youngsters who pick the cocoa beans but have never experienced the delicious flavor of chocolate. Hershey's chocolate has always included elements of slavery and injustice. Children as young as 12 are routinely forced to work in cocoa fields for long periods of time without proper compensation. Many of these kids are abducted from their homes or made to work against their will. Cocoa farmers are the modern-day victims of a slave trade that involves human trafficking in this region. A BBC report in the year 2000 stated that hundreds of thousands of children are abducted or sold into labor on these cocoa estates. In this report, journalists cited a young man working as a cocoa farmer in West Africa that he was living in Buake with his grandmother, but his father sent him to work in the cocoa estates. Since then, the last he saw his family was three years ago. The region's poor are known to sell their children into slavery for the promise of financial gain, through the labor of their offspring on the farms. Children are forced to perform dangerous physical labor in unhealthy and unsafe conditions, while receiving little to no compensation. Children from neighboring countries like Mali and Burkina Faso make up a large portion of the victims. Based on a 2011 report by the U.S. Department of Labor, almost 2 million youngsters, some of them under 10, labored unlawfully on West African cocoa fields that supply cocoa to Hershey and other chocolate companies. They often sustain injuries from using machetes, carrying large rods, or coming into touch with harmful chemicals. The International Labour Organization has designated the conditions in West African cocoa fields as the most horrendous kind of child labour, and it's working hard to find a way to end this practice. 
Now, you may think that maybe Hershey's wasn't aware of this issue. Well, if you think that, then, my friends, you are a little too innocent for this world. The Hershey company has known about the issues at the beginning of its supply chain since at least 2001. But it still imports chocolate from the western region of Africa without taking any measures to prevent the exploitation of workers there. In 2001, news broke that cocoa farms in the Ivory Coast were using child labor, slavery, trafficking, and other forms of cruelty. Rapidly increasing amounts of bad press and calls for explanations and remedies from the public ensued. At first, they decided to ignore these issues like all big corporations. But then in 2002, United States Congress stepped in and passed a legislation that major chocolate manufacturers put an end to child labor by 2005. Just like the gun lobby, cocoa companies weren't going to go down without a fight. They agreed to voluntarily source their raw materials from farms where such horrendous practices did not take place. Unfortunately, there was a need to stretch this vote as far as 2008 and again in 2010. In fact, a report on the 100 billion worldwide chocolate industry in 2018 claims that there isn't any single company or government near to set the goal of reducing child labor by 70% by 2020. While its key competitors have taken some measures to decrease or eliminate slavery and other forms of cruel child labor from their cocoa supply chains, Hershey has done absolutely nothing in that time. The Child Labor Cocoa Coordinating Group program criteria applies only to Hershey's Cocoa Link program, which uses text and voice messaging to encourage more efficient agricultural practices and reduce the use of child labor through communicating with farmers. Well, if things work like that, then we could simply end world hunger with a single tweet and create peace throughout the world with a speech. Alas, the world isn't that simple, and our corporations aren't that good. In March 2020, a Canadian, in representing all Canadian residents, filed a class action lawsuit against Hershey Company along with its two subsidiaries, Hershey Chocolate and Confectionery Corporation and Hershey Canada. The $550 million class action lawsuit stated that the child labor and slavery prevalent in the brand supply chain are so abhorrent that failure to disclose these methods amounts to a misrepresentation to Canadian consumers. This isn't the first legal action against Hershey over slavery and child labor allegations. In June 2022, though Hershey's won a lawsuit in the United States against eight citizens of Mali, it showed that Hershey and child slavery in the cocoa farms of Ivory Coast are closely connected so long they import from Ivory Coast. In this case, according to the judge, the plaintiffs did not have enough evidence to state that Hershey's was indeed responsible for child labor on these said farms. The judge also made a claim that the plaintiffs had not explained the role of intermediaries in the cocoa supply chain, also noting that Hershey's did not monitor activity in the free zones where most of the cocoa's produced. According to the complaint, they had been trafficked when they were children, and had been offered a job but they had instead been persecuted, threatened with starvation, and even had to live in subpar accommodations. They basically wanted to hold Hershey's and other such companies responsible for the promises they'd made against child labor in the Ivory Coast. However, according to the court, the ruling would hold more than just the companies responsible, and could even affect consumers who enjoyed the low prices. So, due to inconclusive evidence, the court rejected the plea. This just goes to show that companies like Hershey's are still aware of the injustice going on from the source of their raw materials. But due to their power and position, they managed to escape taking responsibility for all the injustice taking place in these locations. Are you a fan of Hershey products? Would the making of Hershey's affect your purchasing decisions? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you found today's video interesting, then be sure to leave us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to always be up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.